My name is Misty Stratton and my video presentation will discuss my research paper's subject of Sola Witt and his wall drawings, particularly wall drawing number 618 currently on display in the east wing of the Asheville Art Museum in Asheville, North Carolina. I want to begin my paper with an introduction to Witt and his philosophy and approach to art, concentrating on his influence on the modernist movement as well as how he redefined aesthetics and art. Key questions I want to address are concerns of authenticity and legitimacy as well as authorship in, regard, in regards to LeWitt's wall drawings. Saul LeWitt was an American artist born in 1928 and died in 2007. He was a leader within the conceptual movement as well as the min minimalist movement. He rejected the abstract expressionist use of uh, private emotions, which they embedded within their work. He felt that this was uh, a mystification of the art making process, and so he began to make art more public and saw this as a way of demystifying the process of making art. Lewitt believed that irrational thoughts should be followed absolutely and logically. Often, this attempt in performing the rational is misinterpreted as cold or analytical. However, his wall drawings are actually addressing uh, the interactions between human and material. As minimalist artists began embracing industrial materials, LeWitt went even further, focusing on the idea rather than the object. Wall drawing number 618 consists of four wide bands, each a different color, each running in a specific direction. These were basically applied directly to the wall with color ink washes. And on each wall, these bands were arranged in a variety of ways, almost creating a, a type of mathematical equation. So you would have red band plus yellow band equals this combination, blue band plus yellow band equals this combination, and so forth all throughout the room. Since 1968, various LeWitt wall drawings have been uh, executed many times all over the world in many different spaces by many different artists. Each wall drawing has a detailed set of instructions as to how these artists are to proceed with the installation. These instructions become part of the final installation because they are written directly onto the wall. By giving a blueprint of his conceptual drawings, he set out demystifying art production, suggesting that any draftsperson would be able to produce his work thus reiterating his belief that the artist's hand does not create the work, the idea creates the work. I also want to emphasize in my paper that the, the fact that these artists or assistants um, are producing his work, they're not merely copying his instructions and producing an exact replica of the initial work, because as he has stated, each person draws a line differently and each person understands words differently. Each time a wall, a particular wall drawing is executed, it is inevitable that inconsistencies are going to emerge, not just because of human error, but because of variations of spaces that these drawings exist in. These drawings therefore have the interesting characteristic of defining the specific architectural space that they are in. These wall drawings are inscri inscribed, like I said, directly on white walls. There's no other surface than the wall, so therefore the wall is actually beckoning you as the viewer to engage with it on its terms. It, um, it's, it's wanting you to get up close and personal with the materiality of the surface. You become aware of the surface texture and the variations of the color within the washes of ink. And this indicates a human presence at work. By observing this, the viewer is immediately aware of the work's ephemeral quality. Being directly created on the wall means it's going to ultimately be destroyed after exhibition's over. 
a viewer also is aware that the work was created by a team of artists following specific instructions and realizes that they too have the potential of exacting an idea by creating this art. By inviting others to create in his name, Lewitt invites the viewer to rethink their position in relation to surface and concept. Each drawing is called a Lewitt and this creates an issue with ownership since more than one can exist simultaneously. He said, ideas can be, cannot be owned, they belong to whoever understands them. Lewitt's work was crucial in criticizing the cult of exclusivity. His work debunks the notion of an original source of signification and ultimately disperses the authority of the artist. No longer is there a hierarchy regarding the process of meaning, and he also undermines the hierarchy of determining value. Thank you, and I'm sorry I've gone over my time.